uh, let's do one example uh, in this case if we have a system of equation ax is equal to uh, b and where a represents uh, a is represented by this uh, matrix 1 3 minus 2 6 so then can we tell that for any choice of uh, b uh, this system will have a solution so for this we need to check the uh, augmented matrix 1 3 minus 2 minus 6 a b so where a b is b is vector b is vector b a b so for any components of a and b so uh, by the row operation so what we can do is 2 times row 1 plus uh, row 2 that will be the new row 2 so in this case uh, 1 3 uh, 0 uh, this will be 0 and then a and 2 times r so it will be 2a plus b so now in this equation uh, in this uh, form of the uh, matrix which is in the echelon form um, we have 0 0 in this last equation so it means that this system will have a solution if 2a plus b is equal to 0. 2a plus b is equal to 0 will uh, give a solution. Uh, but this is not the general case. Okay, The answer question was for any choice of a and b uh, whether this will have a solution. So this means that this uh, system will not have a solution ax is equal to b will not have a solution for any vector b okay so this is the answer Okay, uh, now one more example. Uh, uh, suppose if we have uh, AX is equal to B as the system in which A is represented by this matrix. Uh, 1, 2, 2, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Minus 2, 2, and 3. And whether this system will have a solution for any choice of B. So, so for B, now it's a 3 by 3, uh, three component matrix. So we can take B as equal to consisting of A, B, and C as, as its three components. So let's apply the row operations on this matrix. So uh, minus 2 r2 uh, minus 2 r1 plus r2 will give r2 and then also minus 2 r1 plus r3 will give r3 so in this case 1 0 minus 2 a and it will be uh, 0 it will be 1 so minus 2 multiplication will make it as 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. And then it will be minus 2a plus b. Uh, the last row will be likewise 0. And uh, uh, this will be uh, 1. And then minus 2 will make it as 4. 4. Um, uh, plus uh, 3 is uh, 7 so it will be minus 2a plus uh, c uh, in order to make this as 0 so we take a row operation of like uh, minus r 2 plus r 3 will make a new row 3 so it will be uh, 1 0 minus 2 uh, a 
and then it will be 0 1 uh, 6 minus 2 a plus b so it will be uh, 0 and then it will be 0 and 7 minus 6 will be uh, 1 so minus 2 a and then minus 2 a this will cancel so it will be c minus b so now from here by uh, back uh, substitution we can find the values so this last row will give the value of x3 that will be c minus b uh, this row will give the value of x2 and then plus 6 x3 so 6 uh, c minus 6 uh, b is equal to minus 2 a plus so from here we can find the, find the value of x sub 2 as mm, minus 2a uh, minus 2a plus uh, uh, 7b minus 2a plus 7b and uh, this will be minus 6 and c and then from the first uh, equation um, from the first row so we can find the value of x1 x1 will be x1 plus 0 x2 minus 2 x3 uh, uh, which is c minus b is equal to a so from here we can find that x1 x1 will be equal to a um, Mm, plus 2b so it will be minus 2b and then minus 2c it will be then plus 2c so a minus 2b plus 2c so now we have the values of x1 x2 and x3 uh, all defined in terms of a b and c so this shows that for any choice of a b and c for any choice of a b and c we can find the values of we have the values of x1, x2 and x3 which uh, satisfy this equation. So what we can say is that uh, ax is equal to b will have a solution for any choice of values of b. So that solution uh, will be uh, a minus 2b plus 2c a minus 2b plus 2c uh, minus 2a plus 7b minus 6c and then um, c minus b or minus b plus c so the answer is yes it is the answer is yes a x is equal to b will have a solution for any 